Alrighty, hello guys, welcome you faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we are back with our steam locomotive. Now, I've been asked multiple times in the future, in the future? <laughs> in the past, I've time traveled, uh, in the past to actually build an armored train. Now, what I want to do today is actually build a carriage for this train. Um, we've been enrolled into the army to transport some goods, so we need some carriages in order to actually do that. We also need a train that isn't bright red, because honestly, a bright red train is a big old target. So, we're going to paint the train a different color, and then we're going to start building a train car. Alright, so, if we've got a locomotive like this, and it is, of course, bright red, uh, we need to actually try and change the color to be very, very dark. So let's say we've got this, how do we make a, like, an extremely dark, maybe red color? So, kind of like this, bosh that on there, there we go, awesome. And then we make it a little bit brighter for this little bit right here. And then we've got ourselves a locomotive that is... I guess it's more brown than anything else, but yeah. We'll have to change all the rest of the colors, and uh, we'll leave it like that. That's kind of cool. Okay, so what we got to do then is uh, we might have to get rid of the white stripes too, because honestly the white stripes are a little bit off-putting, I suppose. So whack that in there, 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 and there. There we go, good. We're going to have to go backwards and do all of these guys. Uh, all of these guys as well. These are the dark ones. And then all of this, too. Uh, we're also going to have to do all of this. Yikesies. There is, um, there's actually quite a lot to do. So I'm going to go ahead and paint all of the paint blocks. And then I'll be back with you guys in a little bit. Alright, there it is. So now it's actually more of a brown slash black color, which is actually really awesome. And I think it'll actually do really well. Uh, I think I'm going to keep the gold lines anyway. We are going to keep those. Uh, because we won't see or be seen from the sky very well. Um, just because of the gold, although maybe we would have. Maybe we would get seen. So, maybe we need to change those too. I don't know. I actually don't know. Uh, I'm gonna change all the white colors to something else, uh, a lot darker. So we're actually gonna go with this, uh, maybe for those white colors. Actually, um, different to that. Different to that. Maybe this. There we go. So it's a little bit of a brighter color, but that's fine. Uh, and there we go. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. I need to paint those guys, and, uh, that'll be good. Alright, so the next thing we need to do, actually, is uh, grab a similar color and actually change this into it as well. Uh, and then we can move on to building an actual carriage. Alright, so I've gone ahead and done the tender now, as you guys can see, and I've done it in that color. It is actually a kind of a cool looking locomotive in these colors. Um, I'm not sure the gold is actually too gold and still gives us away, but I mean, I think that's fine. Um, so there's the red one. Obviously, it is very bright and um, very red. And then on the other side, this actually looks pretty sick too. I actually really like this. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to design and build a carriage that this thing would pull, I guess. Hopefully, uh, we can do that. Alright, so I've gone ahead and actually copied a little bit of our previous build. And uh, essentially the reason I did that is so that we know the height of the vehicle. Or the height of the carriage, I should say. We are going to use this flooring because um, I think it makes sense on the inside. And that'll be A-OK. -okay. So, these things aren't going to be as big as, I guess, modern day ones. Um, it is going to be like a World War II based kind of thing. Uh, so hopefully we can do something with this. I'm sure we can. So, now that we've got this then, um, essentially what we need to do is try and figure out how big we need it to be. Um, and go with that. So, <laughs> how do we go about doing that then? Um, I think the base of this actually has to go really low. So we're going to go ahead and grab that all the way to there. We're going to go ahead and cut it. And we're going to move it down until it's uh, maybe like a tiny bit higher than that. Um, or maybe it should just be right above. I think it'll be right above. So we're going to do one, two, uh, three, maybe four, five, six, and then seven. And then that's where the other wheels will go. So if we go into the center, we go into the center of this one, two, we grab one of these. I try and slot it onto there, maybe it's just one, there we go, and that's forwards, that's backwards, um, maybe that'll be okay, maybe it won't, I don't know, we'll whack that there, there we go, awesome, merge all of this together, is this gonna look alright, I don't know, I genuinely don't know, spawn it in, maybe that's a little bit too small, so then we'll, we'll extend it out the front, just a little bit to about here, we'll do exactly the same thing on the back, and then we'll build a carriage all around it. Okay, so then what we do is we go ahead and we get one of these and we continue it that way. We go ahead and continue this one this way and then I think we can get away with doing something like this and also dropping it down a little bit like so 
uh, whacking this guy on there like this, and the same on the other side, just like so. And I think that'll be awesome. We then do the same thing at the other side, so we do all of this, we do all of this, and we attach this guy to both edges. Bosh, and... Uh, no, not like that. Hang on. We're almost there. Bosh, there we go. Okay, sick. Yeah, this will totally work. So merge that with that, merge this with this, and we need to build a carriage all around it. Alright, so we need to try and make this look quite nice. So we're going to get some friction, uh, friction pads, yeah, they're going to go there. That's going to be like the bottom. We're then going to extend this guy upwards, actually pretty much to the top, uh, which is there. And then we're going to extend this guy, and essentially this is just going to be how big it is, and that's fine. Uh, we're going to do these guys down the edges, and that's okay. And there we go. Okay, so build this in. Do -do 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 -do. All the way to the end, grab this piece, and do all of this all the way down to there, and that's fine, I think. Yeah, all the way up to there, grab one of these guys, whack it on the bottom, just like so, and that'll be A-OK. -okay. Good. Okie dokie. So, the next thing that I want to do then is delete this guy, go ahead and uh, attach a piece to there, attach a piece to there, delete this one. We're going to do this, so one, two, and delete that guy, but also delete this guy as well. And then we're going to get a tank track, thingamabobby, and those are going to be our little bumpers. There we go. They don't have to be huge. Um, small actually works, and that is okay. The next thing then. So, I have some command... What are they called? What are they called? Uh, microcontrollers. Yeah. Um, and essentially, they are like... They're big. <laughs> they're big. So, this is a 1x4 one, so we can uh, essentially attach that to there, and do this all the way upwards. And it'll look like the siding of a train car, which um, it sort of does. It actually sort of does. So that's cool. Um, but I don't know whether we want to do it so it's all even, or whether we change it up and make it a little bit different. I don't know. I've also got slightly bigger ones as well, 1x5s, one uh, which also will work. So we do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so it's even. That's fine. All right. We're going to go ahead and delete this guy. And we're going to attach one of these onto there, and then we're going to do something like this uh, as we go along. There we go. Okay, so, uh, now that we've done it on this side, we need to do it on the front as well. I don't know how much of a gap we actually have here. Um, it feels like we're going to have to use these guys instead. Oh, not those. Uh, these? No, not those. I haven't named these very well. Some of them are, like, not actually what they say they are. <laughs> a lot of them are not what they say they are. But anyway, that's going to go there all the way up to the top. And that should be A-OK. -okay. Yeah. Woo! Nice! Okay, so this is going to go all the way to the top of this. Very nice. We're going to put a big beam in the middle. That's fine. And realistically, we need to get rid of... We need to get rid of this. Like, hang on. Delete all of that. Fill it in with this. Then whack one of these on. Just like so. Why can't I do it? What? Why, why can't I put that there? There we go. That was strange. All right, delete that. And there we go. Okay, yeah, this will look good. Right, so the next thing we need to do then is grab essentially the whole front end, uh, all the way up to there, all the way out to here, and then we're going to go ahead and copy it, uh, turn it around. Oh, actually, hang on. Did I not actually grab the whole front end? I didn't grab these guys. There we go. Go ahead and copy this. Turn it around. Move it to the other side, uh, to about there. Go ahead and push it in so that it fits. Do that, merge this with this, and we should have a really nice train car. Do we? Yes, we do. That's cool. Alright, so now we need to try and fit a door onto this. I am not entirely sure how I want to do this, but let's go ahead and try it. So, tracks. We have linear track bases, and we have the tracks themselves. If I go ahead and attach this to this side, uh, just like so, and we want to slide the door open, uh, it's going to go all the way to there. We won't be able to open the door all the way, uh, for reasons, but that's fine. So, actually, if we change this up a little bit, we do one of those there. Um, maybe we can get away with doing these. Okay, so if we do this like this, and then this from the top down. There we go. And we maybe do, like, two of those. Uh, like that. There we go. So we do the same thing over here. One and two. And then three and four. There we go. We can then seal this guy off. Uh, just like this, essentially. There we go, do this guy too. And then the door is going to be smaller, and that's fine. Alright. Okay. I'm also putting these in as little supports, all the way down, and it's actually working out quite nicely. Yeah. 
Okay, so now what we do is we add a track that goes uh, here like this. There you go. We delete that guy, and the door itself is going to go uh, essentially there. So we're going to do this on this end. Do, 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 do. All the way down to about there. That's fine. We're going to go ahead and build the door in using... Well, actually, we'll just do that for now, and then we'll do this around this side. Do, 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 do. There we go. Okay, excellent. We're going to do this across the bottom. There we go. And then we essentially just need to fill it in with these guys until it is full. Bam, 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 bam. And bam. There we go. Good. Do these guys. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven. There we go. And there's our door. Okay. So, hopefully, it will actually open up. We also need to actually add a, um, a control for this. So, let's get ourselves a throttle lever. Smack it in the bottom just like this. And connect that up to there, and this one up to there, and see what they do. Oh, we need infinite electricity too. Alright, so if we do this, the door will open. Uh, and that is that is it, maxima, maximum open. Okay, I think that's fine. And then we don't have a reverse, but we do need one. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and put this on minus one. Uh, minus one. Bam. There we go. And the same with this guy. And that'll be A-OK. -okay. Uh, minus one. I need to flip them over, though, because at the minute it looks a bit odd. <laughs> it looks very odd, because we're, we're, we're pushing it one way and it's going the other way. Uh... There. Okay, so that's going to go in there like that. Merge it. There you go. And then this guy is going to be the opposite to... The opposite to... So cut this, flip it, move it this way, paste it, and merge it in. There we go. So now we should be able to move them along. Is it going to work? Yes, it is. Does it go the other way? Yes, it does. And that's fine. Good. Okay, so on this edge piece, uh, just to make it look a little bit nicer, we're going to go ahead and do this. We're then going to go ahead and do these guys as well. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. And essentially, those are going to go up and over the top, just like so. And then we're going to do this. Yes. Ha having a little bit of an overhang definitely makes it look nicer. So that's fine. Good. Then these pieces. Up and over. Good. And then all the way across. Brilliant. Alright, nice. So, uh, I've done it all in grey, but this could be in literally any colour. It, it doesn't really matter, actually. And then the other thing, we actually need a way to get into here. So, delete this guy. There we go. Ladders is the next thing we're going to add. And we're going to go with just these. Get ourselves a pipe that actually works. Here we go. Do this and this. And then we're going to do... Um, this on the bottom, I think. So, whack that there. Whack that there, and attach together like so. Okay. Okay, fantastic. Okay, fantastic. That's good. We're gonna do this guy too, and we're gonna do this. Um, ooh. Like that. Okay, that's, that's okay for now. That's fine. We're gonna do that as well, and... Kinda wanna just attach that to there like that. We'll put a box on there, that's fine. We'll do the same thing right here, so there, and then a box. And that makes it look a lot better, but it's still not perfect. Um, but essentially, there's nothing going to go underneath it anyway, so we'll essentially leave it like that anyway. Okay, right, cool. So, let's go to the front of this, delete this guy, get ourselves a pivot, and uh, attach it into there. Uh, I think I want to send it backwards one, like this. We'll delete these two, and we'll have it go like... That. There we go, so we can actually turn it side to side. And then we need a connector on the front of that, which I don't know which ones we're using, but we'll go with this. Uh, and there we go. Essentially, this needs to go on the other side too, so we'll do that. Grab this. All the way back to there, and out to the side, and out to the side. Copy it, turn it around, move it to the other end, uh, and paste it there like this. Okay. Merge this with this, and save it. And there it is. I actually don't think that looks too bad at all, actually. So all we need to do now is attach uh, a connector onto there as well, onto the tender. And then we can probably pull these along and hopefully that's all good. It does look a little bit strange, but we're, we're going to roll with it. And there we go. So we've actually attached them together. And now we should be able to get inside and actually move this along, hopefully. Oh, I just fell down the gap. That's silly. <laughs> that's very silly. I don't know whether I can get back in. Uh, there we go. Okay, good. So, all we need to do now is light the firebox, turn the lights on, go ahead and release the brakes. That's okay. Whistle. We don't want to do that just yet. And throttle up to go. 
Okay. I'm excited. I want to see what this looks like. Okay, off we go, guys. What do we think of this? What do we think of the carriage? Uh, I think it looks okay. Um, it doesn't look terrible, but uh, I do feel like the wheels are a little bit out there. But maybe that's okay. Maybe that is actually fine. Um, but yeah, I actually don't mind this. I don't mind the colors that we went with uh, for our war train. Uh, and now all we need is to actually add ammo into this thing. We need to tow a gun, and then we can have a railway gun. That would be so cool. Anyway, for right now, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next time. Goodbye.